when he dropped an 83 in that final round when he was leading. He, he duffed a couple of chips. I mean, it was it was just a bad, bad performance uh, by him. However, he is extremely talented, extremely confident after coming back from that PGA Championship and having that event happen with the bunker and being able to persevere and keep playing uh, through that. And he did get a win last year in the FedEx Cup playoffs, which was propelled his career. So I think he's one of those guys that you have to watch moving forward. And I, I just got to wonder, what does he do as far as his next caddy? Where does he go? Does he go with an old, wily veteran of the PGA Tour? Or does he go with a younger guy, uh, similar to the guy that he had, that he's not dating the twin sister of boyfriend girl? I don't even know how that works. So what does he do, Chris? What do you think? Do you, If you're Dustin, right, and you're this guy with a, the, all this talent, you've, had, you've clearly had some adversity that you've dealt through or dealt with throughout your career thus far, who do you go with? Do you go with an old, wily veteran of the PGA Tour, or do you stay with a younger guy that's more buddy-buddy and you can have a little bit better relationship with on the course and maybe hang out with off the course? Well, f- for me, I, I learned to play golf. My grandfather taught me how to play golf. Now, I, the, I'd never go to any tour unless, you know, I bought a ticket, obviously. I'm not very good. <laughs> yeah, we want some tickets for free, by the way. So if the Please. Deutsche Bank, if yes. you know, when you guys are out there, if you're anybody listening or the, the tournament that's in Hartford, if you guys want to toss us some tickets, we'd be happy to come down and cover your event for free. You know, no, no big deal for us. Um, but, uh, yeah, Gramps was uh, – he was tough. He, he did, had a very uh, – he had a very low standard for, uh, for tomfoolery out on the course. And if you ask me – I since I learned to play this way from a guy who was you know constantly yelling at you, <laughs> I think that like you know <laughs> the hard way. He, having he taught a, you how to play the hard way. He, he yeah, he having a you. sort of yeah, and having this sort of young, undisciplined kind of dude like Dustin Johnson who's missing tee times and you know just sort of you know he's young. He's he's what twenty six. Yeah, he's a young guy. Uh, he's he's also dealt with some adversity, you know, as a youth. Part of his background is talking about things, doing some things that were a little bit outside of the law and. Probably a little bit more than your extracurricular activities that that teenagers take place in. You know, stole some things, made some bad choices. Also, was arrested for a DUI early in his career, and 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 really said that he learned a lot from that. Um, so, you know, I agree with you. I, I think maybe going with an older guy who knows the ropes and understands how the PGA Tour works and how life is out on the road might be a good thing for him. Maybe it'll keep him in at night. I would highly doubt that's the case yeah. but maybe you never know that he may it may have that influence on him to allow him to stay in and be more calm on the course and just go about his business and you know Dustin is really good friends with Phil plays a lot of practice rounds with Phil I think Phil's probably been a good influence on him I'm sure that he'll consult him in this next decision that he makes as far as moving forward with the caddy situation and you know it, certainly an integral part of what they do on the PGA Tour. A lot of people, if you don't if you don't know and you haven't had a chance to listen to those conversations, like when they have Kevin Nam mic'd up in the golf tournament, you should listen to those conversations between the caddy and the player because they're, they're extremely interesting to hear uh, the things that they talk about, the, the, the detail that they have to delve into when they're, they're talking about hitting shots and uh, assessing the wind, assessing yardages, picking clubs. They talk about trajectory and all those different things. They're really interesting to, to – uh, to hear what those guys have to say and how much they can actually influence. And another area, obviously, is on the green and reading putts. And if you watch Phil play, you know that Bones McKay, who does a great job with right. him, do- plays a huge role in what Phil does and how he reads the greens, and they have sort of an open conversation. Then again, there are some guys who won't even talk to their caddy, uh, <laughs> who don't consult them at all, and they, they want the onus they want the onus on them. They, they want to be the guy that makes the choice. However, I'd say there's not a lot of guys out there like that on the tour um, at this point. So, again, the caddy, a huge part of what goes on. And, and, and Dustin, get somebody that knows what's going on. Get somebody that's going to keep you, out, keep you out of those establishments late at night. <laughs> get somebody that can give you some good advice moving forward. And I think we'll see him in the winter circle, in one of these majors here coming up possibly this year, just depending on, depending on what the weather's like because that has a huge effect on him in the way he hits the ball. And also where his mindset is and how he moves forward from this. Like that sounds all well and good, but I mean, try telling that to a kid in his mid twenties who's like a pro golfer making all this money. Hey, why don't right. you get a real strict discipline? <laughs> right, and I'm sure Dustin is listening to us on the edge of his seat right now. I know he's not playing this week, yeah. so there's a great possibility that you're out there. So Dustin, we know what we're talking about in here. Obviously, you need to get somebody that knows what's going on. And yeah, we understand that you've got a lot of money and you're you're playing really well and you you pretty much used to doing what you want, but. You should certainly, certainly consider taking up one of those, 
one of those older guys that'll that'll guide you around the tour. Yeah, since being in your twenties and making hundreds of thousands of dollars and dating what I'm sure are really hot twins is like you know really really <laughs> right. bum really bummer. And playing golf for yeah. a living now. Let's just talk about that for a second. No now kidding. that's just unbelievable. One of the things we all would love to do, I'm sure. Although I think it may be a little bit more of a grind than we think out there as far as the travel goes. But you know what? I think I could deal with it. Yeah. I don't think it'd be an issue. I mean, All right, Chris, are we uh, you yelling at me back there to take a break, or is this computer going to do something on, on its own, or, or should we take a break now and then we'll get to we'll get to Brandon Smith as we come back, or should we should we stay on for a little bit longer? What should we do? Uh, let's What's just the, let the computer decide. All right, the, the Megatron I think back here is telling us that we need to take a break. So when we come back, we're going to have Brandon Smith, the uh, fitness professional from the International. We had him on in our first week. He's going to give you some tips. We're going to talk about a few things that'll help you. Stay well-conditioned as we move forward into the season. So we'll have that right when we come back here on WGAM.